guys, we're all on the hunt for 3DS games to buy before the eShop shuts down next year in March. Here's my list of Nintendo 3DS eShop exclusives you should check out. My list might be different than others, but I've added a little something for everyone on this list. A lot of these are actually in my must-buy wish list, and some of these titles might have made their crossover to the Nintendo Switch, or you might be able to find some of these on Steam, but for the most part, they're eShop exclusives. And like always, if you have any of these games, let us know how you like them. Now let's go ahead and check out my list for the must-have 3DS eShop exclusives. Colors 3D. Based on modern painting techniques originally developed for professional drawing tablets, Colors 3D is tailored for touchscreen devices and caters to everyone from serious artists to aimless doodlers. Whether you are looking to sketch, paint, or draw up your next plans for world domination, Colors 3D is the perfect digital sketchbook. This is pretty much a drawing app on your 3DS. I have this and it is awesome. I highly recommend it. And you can draw in 3D, so that's pretty cool too. Creeping Terror. Trapped below a creepy abandoned mansion deep in the forest, a group of friends find themselves on the run from a terrifying monster. Using only her wits and what's around her, Arissa must uncover the secrets of the mansion and figure out how to escape before it's too late. This is of course a horror game. It is on my must buy wish list right now. It looks amazing in my opinion. Harmonite. This game actually has a demo that I highly suggest you download. Use Tempo's music note staff to beat drums, crash cymbals, and smack enemies through more than 50 levels with unique boss fights. On your journey, you'll team up with multiple characters like Lyra, who can slide under obstacles and shoot musical arrows. More challenging speeds and unlockable stages await those locked onto the beat. This is actually a rhythm-based game from the creators of Pokemon. Here's a game that we recently talked about in my previous video of the 25 rare 3DS games you should buy before the shop closes. And this is Style Savvy Styling Star. This is a dress-up game. You can style different outfits and make up and hairstyles. This game is awesome to say the least. It did not get a physical release here in the US. If you've played style savvy trendsetters then you know exactly what I'm talking about. These games even had some DS releases as well. But you get to run a boutique and you get to help style customers with clothes, makeup, nails, and all of that good stuff. So no matter who you are, I think you are going to enjoy this game, even if you think it might not be up your alley. Pushmo. A kindly old inventor created a park and fills it with incredible puzzle-like climbing toys called Pushmo. But a little trickster has trapped the kids inside the Pushmo, and now it's up to our hero to push and pull and climb his way through the puzzling playground to save his friends. Pushmo is a game that features more than 250 challenging puzzles and it is a game that will keep you nice and busy. They're nice puzzle games. The Dinpo men that came by wave. Mysterious little creatures float around near these waves. They're called Dinpa men. You can't see them normally but you can find them and catch them with your Nintendo 3DS. This is a role-playing game in which you collect Dinpa men to form a party and use this party to explore dungeons. Each radio wave territory has its own completely unique Dinpa men and no two of them are the same. Their faces, bodies, and personalities are all different and some of them even have special skills and strong points. This is a role-playing game and in my opinion the Dinpa men really remind me of Mii's so if you like Mii's I think you're gonna enjoy this one. Attack of the Friday Monsters A Tokyo Tale. Step into the life of the young son of a family that has just set up a dry cleaner shop and finally when Friday evening falls the giant monsters will appear right before your eyes. Collect the monster glims scattered around town to form monster cards. Winning at monster cards gives you the chance to collect useful information, more monster glims, and even to cast a secret spell on your friends that will make them fall down at your whim. Why? Because that's the rules. A touching drama about family, friendship, and the innocence of being a child unfolds against hand-drawn backgrounds, charming music, and memorable characters. Nintendo describes this as an action-adventure game, and it looks amazing. It's very inexpensive, by the way, which most of these are. Just going to point that out. <laughs> Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tipping Stars. Get that aha feeling over and over as you guide minis, toy versions of Nintendo characters, 
to the exit in each puzzling stage. Tap objects like bridges and springs with the stylus to perfect your strategy. You can create stages and play them however you want, unlocking even more content and experiences the more you play. Tackle more than 80 tricky stages filled with clever puzzles and tough obstacles. This is of course just a big puzzle game. Gotta protectors. Bad guys are after Princess Lola. You gotta protect her. Choose from a diverse and memorable cast of six classes, each with unique weapons and customizable upgradable skills. Strategically place barcades and turrets, level up and destroy them all, fight through 100 story maps, or create your own using the map editor and share them with friends via QR code patterns. I absolutely love the animation on this game and the way that it's all laid out. It's so colorful and bright. This game was originally on the NES, but Nintendo, of course, bring it to the 3DS, and I think that this one would be really fun to grab before it's too late. Now, this is going to be an overall kind of suggestion for me, and it is going to be for you to check out the DSiWare games. So I'm pretty sure the DSi shop is dead and gone. So the DSiWare, once it's gone, now it's probably going to be gone for a very long time, if not forever. If you see on the screen, I'm showing you how you can get to the DSiWare specifically. And you can just search through all of the silly little games that were on the DSi. Random and fun games for sure. I highly suggest you just sit and scroll and maybe just add some stuff for your wish list for fun. You don't even have to buy anything. I mean, these are suggestions after all. Zombie Panic in Wonderland. Now this has been switched over to the Nintendo Switch. But I will go ahead and suggest it here because whenever I found this, I thought it looked awesome. And personally, I just love having games on my 3DS. It's one of my favorite consoles, so... Free Wonderland from the Loving Zombies Plague. The world of fairy tales has been overrun by a plague of bizarre zombies. He encounters these pests and finds himself forced to solve the issue. Armed with powerful weapons, he will meet, through his adventure, the most popular fairy tales of the world, as well as allies who will help him to finish off the craziest and loveliest zombies you can imagine. Nintendo describes this as an action arcade game and I absolutely love the art on this game. It's so bright and colorful. Looks amazing. I know a lot of people recommend different Picross games but this is going to be my suggestion and that is Sanrio Characters Picross. This is a puzzle game using Sanrio characters. Solve pick cross puzzles to unveil pictures and get cute stickers to decorate your screen with. Or use them on game backgrounds. So this is a puzzle game where you get to unveil pictures and it looks so cute and it's only $8 and it's Sanrio. For those of you who don't know what Sanrio is, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Kirby Fighters Deluxe. Duke it out with your favorite pink puffball in a fierce four player battle action game. Team up or go solo as you battle in new and classic Kirby arenas. Choose from powerful copy abilities like sword, ninja, hammer, and more as you take on your fighting skills to the limit. Based on the wild battle mode introduced by Kirby Triple Deluxe, this is a standalone game that contains expanded gameplay features the ability to play as a team, new arenas, and more. This really reminds me of Smash Bros, but with Kirby. <laughs> Dress to play cute witches. Now this is going to start my pretty odd suggestions to say the least, but Dress to play cute witches is where you make a little witch and design her outfit in the dressing room. When you finish, get ready to set off on an adventure as your character flies away on her broomstick to a peaceful world inhabited by fantasy characters. The more you play, the more rewards and gifts you'll receive. You'll also earn more items of clothing to dress your little witch in. It is a very adorable game. I'm a fan of character creation games or dress up games in general, and this one is super adorable. The Nintendo Badge Arcade. Now, while this isn't a game, this is definitely one of those weird little apps that Nintendo has that I find a lot of fun. You can decorate your 3DS with all the badges that you collect. You get two free plays every day, so you could take advantage of that. You don't even have to pay to get the badges. Here's what my badges look like. I have a bunch of them. 
And it's pretty much where you go and play a claw machine to grab all of the different badges that you want to. It's fun and cute for sure. Hello Kitty's magic apron. Get ready to cook up a storm because Hello Kitty is back in an all new rhythm action experience. Learn the joys of cooking and the power of rhythm at the same time while making new friends and coming up with tasty treats to the beat. So it's a cooking and rhythm game and Nintendo describes it as a simulation game as well. It's cute. It's Hello Kitty. You can't really go wrong. I love me some girly, cutesy, sweet games. So this one is on the list. DDD's Drum Dash Deluxe. Now say that three times fast. <laughs> Bounce to the beat as Kirby's longtime rival in King DDD's rhythm action game. Jump on drums, collecting coins, and avoiding enemies while tapping buttons in sync with catchy Kirby tunes. The standalone deluxe game includes content not found in Kirby Triple Deluxe, including all new stages, new obstacles, and more. It is beyond awesome to see a Kirby type rhythm game. I super suggest this one for sure. Dylan's Rolling Western. Armadillo Ranger Dylan leaps into action at the touch of the stylus using his rolling attack skills to defend frontier villages from waves of invading rock monsters. During the day, Dylan collects resources to build up his defenses such as gun towers and defense walls. At night, he battles the Groks with the help of those defenses. The 3D graphics bring the game's Wild West setting to life. Dylan's story unfolds as he and his partner Russ interact with the inhabitants of the many western villages they fight to save. There are 10 different villages, each with 3 day and nights of action. 22 different types of groks, from lowly foot groks to gigantic unlimited groks. <laughs> Multiple stages are possible and you can replay the stages and get a better time. Now the main reason why I'm suggesting this game is because one of you told me about Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, which you can actually put your me into that game. And I was so surprised to hear you described it as your me, but you can be a furry. And I was like, what? So I had to look it up. It was hilarious. So seeing these two kind of hand in hand, why not go ahead and try out Dylan's Rolling Western and Dylan said Heat Breakers, but that one isn't an eShop exclusive. I just thought they both sounded really interesting. Pokédex 3D Pro. Now I believe the original Pokédex 3D isn't even on the eShop anymore. I have the Pokédex 3D and it doesn't even work the way that it used to, but Pokédex 3D Pro is a little bit different. The Pokédex 3D Pro application is a fully enhanced and upgraded version of the original Pokédex 3D application. It includes detailed information about more than 640 Pokémon. The Pokédex 3D Pro application also includes in-depth sorting, comparisons, and ranking tools, as well as comprehensive details about the moves each Pokémon can learn and how and when each Pokémon evolves. Additionally, the application features augmented reality capabilities, including the ability to take photos of Pokemon in the real world. I really wish that they would update this as each game is released, but unfortunately, as soon as the 3D Pro was released, that's whenever they stopped updating it. But it's very interesting to see a majority of the Pokemon and to get all of their stats and stuff like that. If you enjoy the Pokemon games, and especially the ones that are on the 3DS and on the DS, then maybe this one is for you. Going on with the Pokemon theme, we're going to talk about Pokemon Dream Radar. Pokemon Dream Radar is an entirely 2D experience that lets players use several different features of the Nintendo 3DS system, including the Nintendo 3DS camera, motion control, and augmented reality technology. Players will catch Pokemon by moving the Nintendo 3DS to discover hidden Pokemon in the Inter Dream Zone, a place between reality and dreams. Players can catch Pokemon by moving the Nintendo 3DS to aim and shoot beam at them. Pokemon caught using the Dream Radar can be transferred to Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2, helping players build their roster of Pokemon. This game also includes hard to get Pokemon, giving players even more incentive to catch them for their own Pokemon Black versions 2 and Pokemon White versions 2. This one is super cheap and the option to find rare Pokemon is awesome. It's one of those things that once it's gone, it's gone sadly. And for three bucks, why not? <laughs> 
any of the 3D classics that Nintendo has put onto the eShop, you should definitely look into grabbing. 3D Classics is a label applied to certain remakes of old games for the Nintendo 3DS. With the added 3D functionality and updated features while retaining their old art style and graphics. These include NES games, Sega Genesis, Arcade, and so much more. Games like Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Sonic the Hedgehog, and so many more. I highly suggest that you check these out. A lot of these titles will be awesome to have on your 3DS. They will look a lot better as well. So that concludes my list of exclusive 3DS eShop games that you should buy before it is too late. Now I know there's going to be one of you out there that's going to be like, or should buy, you mean or should pirate. Well, you do you. <laughs> I don't think it would be a good thing for me to title this video, pirate these games while you can. <laughs> Even though I'm sure that would get a lot of attention, I just think that Nintendo would not like that, to say the least. Whether you decide to buy or even homebrew these titles, I hope that you found something that you enjoyed. I definitely am going to purchase a lot of these that I have mentioned. Like I said, they are on my wish list. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. I adore you all so much. Bye-bye smooch <laughs>